first glance, Samsung's Galaxy S5 looks an awful lot like last year's Galaxy S4. No gorgeous new full metal jacket or wildly different design as we'd already hoped. But peer closer and you'll find plenty of new features packed away inside. For a start, the Galaxy S5 is now water resistant. Take both the S4 and the S5 into the shower and only the S5 will emerge unscathed. It can even withstand a lengthy toilet dunking, providing the removable back cover and the USB port flap are securely in place. Samsung has also built a fingerprint scanner into the S5's home button, so you can swipe a fingertip over the surface to unlock your phone. You can even use it to authorise online payments, although our scanner on our review model was a little glitchy, occasionally locking up. As for screen, there's next to no change. The S4's 5-inch Super AMOLED display has been boosted all of 0.1 inches. Picture quality is still excellent, with bold, bright images flying at your eyeballs. As you'd expect, the Galaxy S5 boosts overall performance, with the S4's old Snapdragon 600 processor replaced with a speedy Snapdragon 801. The S5 is noticeably nippier, thanks in part to the streamlined TouchWiz interface, and Samsung has sped up the phone in other ways too. The nifty download booster mode is one example, using 4G and Wi-Fi simultaneously to quickly download huge files. The S4's 13 megapixel camera has been upgraded to a 16 meg effort, although picture quality remains much the same. Both phones produce sharp photos with realistic colours, with slightly improved low light shots on the S5. The main difference is the S5's super fast autofocus, which snaps pics in 0.3 of a second. The S5 also streamlines the camera features, grouping similar ones together for a cleaner, simpler interface. You now get picture stabilisation as well as selective focus, both of which help to reduce blurring. But the star of the show is the new 4K video mode, which captures an outstanding amount of detail. Get ready for loads of mega high def cat vids. The Galaxy S4 boasted a built-in pedometer, and the Galaxy S5 adds another fitness feature, this time a heart rate sensor found just beneath the camera. Simply stick your fingertip on it, and the S Health widget can read your pulse and tell you if you're about to keel over. You get plenty of other cool new features too, such as Kids Mode, a colourful, kiddie-friendly desktop that lets your young'uns mess around with the camera, and some other fun apps. The new magazine UI is a simple news and social media feed, similar to HTC's Blink feed. And of course there's the ultimate power saving mode, which slashes battery usage by limiting access to a handful of basic features. The Galaxy S5 may not be a design revolution, but it introduces some great new features and really boasts improved performance. Galaxy S4 owners might struggle to find enough reasons to upgrade, but for everyone else this is a solid all-round smartphone.